G'day, I'm Andy from Singamont Whiskey Club. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about Glendronach, 12 year old. So in 1826, this exuberant and extroverted fellow named James Allardyce founded the distillery and produces Gid Glendronach. Uh, it's only three years after the Excise Act, which came in in 1823, um, and that legalised distilling in Scotland. So this was one of the very first legal distilleries in Scotland. Maybe not one of the first distilleries in Scotland, but certainly one of the first legal distilleries, if you get my drift. Well, um, the uh, distillery's been going for quite a while, um, and it's it's done pretty well. Um, it's had a few different owners. Um, Charles Grant was probably one of the most notable. He bought it in 18, 19... 20. Um, and here's a guy from Glenfiddich, you might have heard of it, yeah. Um, and it was bought in a 1960 by uh, by the Teachers Blend, um, Teachers Group. Um, and mm, very recently, only in 2008, it was granted its independence. It was bought by a consortium of single, well, single malt whiskey lovers. And they're steering the old girl down the path to whiskey perfection. Um, look, a lot of it still goes to teachers, um, but that gives them plenty of money to have lots of fun with their single malts. And their signature is to put the whiskies into sherry oak, um, sherry oak rather than bourbon barrels. So they claim that it's the only distillery that puts all of its single malt into sherry oak. All of it. So, uh, yeah, you got a fan in me. It's also one of the few distilleries that um, still malts its own barley. Now that process uh, is where you get a grain of barley and it gets wet and the barley thinks, oh, it must be raining, it must be time to grow. Um, but it's got all of its uh, sh energy tied up in uh, starch, which is um, very complicated. So uh, the first thing it does is it turns its complicated starch and really simple sugars so it does this process and then it's got all these nice simple sugars ready to burst into life and then along comes a master distiller and dries it out usually with really hot air uh, that they blow up through the floor and sometimes they dry that air out by burning peat fires and and the peat smoke comes through and dries out the barley stops the fermentation but also adds in um adds in this peat flavour, but that leaves the um, it leaves the barley with those complex sugars uh, converted into really simple sugars, which makes it um, ready to be fermented and turned into alcohol. Um, so this little baby, it's forty three percent alcohol. Uh, it's from the Highlands, and uh, it's a blend of Pedro Ximenez, which we're all fans of and very familiar with, and Oloroso Sherry. Um, so, look, I'm looking forward to trying this whiskey. It's a style of whiskey that I really like. Um, I mean, there's not many I don't like, but I do really like the... Uh, it's probably... I like them all, but this is probably my favourite style. Um, lots of... Uh, Beautiful bronze colour there. You can see that it's not uh, it's not really a golden colour, it's more of a bronzy colour. Um, which would indicate some sherry action. Really nice packaging on this too. I've really lifted the game and put it in some yeah. Certainly uh, the equivalent of the big guys in terms of packaging. Looks good. No um, chill filtering, no no colorings added, of course. So all natural colors, very um, independent and proud. These guys want to display single malt in its most pure, pure and beautiful form. Yeah, well, look straight away, bang! I get um, raisins. Really nice. My little girl's loving sultanas now, so. I'm, Really getting to know my dried fruit flavors. Um, so um, yeah. Oh, actually, it's got 
a little bit of um, gingery spice. I like to um, smell with my mouth open. Uh, I, I know it kind of looks weird, but you, um, you can actually taste a lot more or smell a lot more when you have your mouth open. So it looks a bit sad, so good to have the glass in front of it. Mmm, yeah, really rich. Um, yeah, so there's some vanilla essence coming through too. Look, this is going to be a cracker with uh, Christmas pud. So good time of year for it. Mmm, it's got a really beautiful... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Sorry, I... Just got layers of flavour coming through. It sort of comes through in waves. So you get this rich intensity, and then you get almost like a um, a burnt caramel flavour come through, and then like a really ripe orange, citrusy ca characters. Oh, the finish just keeps rolling on. That's a really, really complex whiskey, actually. Oh, mmm. You can certainly taste the Pedro Zimenez and the, the sherry in it. Um, it's got those those really typical sherry cask finish. Beautiful, one of my preferred styles of whiskey. Um, no peat at all. It's it's all uh, dry, dried with air, but um, yeah, lovely and rich and full flavoured and. Yeah, another good one. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Cheers.